Hi everybody, it's Kathy and I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. I hope you all are doing well today. I'm doing well. I worked uh, at the early voting today and uh, I came home and got some stuff together to do a video and show you guys what I've picked up at the Dollar Tree lately. Um, I had a pretty good size haul this time, guys. So um, if you want to put me on pause and get yourself something to drink, get a little snack or something, feel free because um, there's a lot of stuff here. Um, yeah, guys, um, found a lot of new things at the Dollar Tree and I'm pretty excited of some things that have been out there that I never saw that, um, just came to my stores. So when you're looking for stuff that I show you and you're interested in, don't feel bad if you go right out and don't find it at your store. Just keep looking because not all Dollar Trees, unfortunately, get things at the same time. So... You know, don't get discouraged if you see something that I show you and you're not able to find it right away because, like I said, all stores don't get it at the same time. All right, let's jump into this haul. Um, first thing I got was I found these two mugs. I found this one and I found this one in the red. Red and white, giant mugs. These would be great for soup or you could eat ice cream out of this. They're really big mugs. I just liked them. They were new to my store, and I said, you know what? I'm going to grab these. I have a red kitchen, so, you know, I had to get the red one. And then the white one was real pretty. I said, you know, I don't want to get two red ones. I'll get a red one and a white one. So I picked these up. These are, um, yeah, they're a really big mug. Let me see how big they are across the top. They are four and three quarters inches across the top so that's a good size mug here's my hand okay and there's the mug it's a really nice mug and you could even like the white one you could uh, decorate something on it you could use those um uh glass pens on here and write something or put those rub-on transfers on them even the red one i don't know how um, it would show up on the red, but the white one would look really nice with that. So I grabbed those. Let me put those back here. I have so much stuff that um, I have one of my big shopping bags right here to throw all this stuff in because I don't know where I'm going to put it once I show it to you guys right now. I mean, I do have places for it, but I just right now while I'm... There's no other room on the table to show you guys stuff and then put it aside. Okay, let, let me just say that's how much stuff I have. All right, let's get back to it. Um, I picked up some of these hot dog holders. It's a pack of 16. Now, it's not too thick, so I don't imagine they're too, too sturdy. But they'll be fun to put the kids' little hot dog on 4th of July. Put that on their plate with the little flag thing. I thought they were, you know, fun. So I grabbed those. I picked up another pack of the home store napkins. These are premium napkins and uh, you get 50 in here. And these are really thick, nice napkins. Um, you know, if you want to do a little bit fancier than uh, normal or if you just like to have a nice napkin and you know, I mean, I really like these a lot. You only get 50, but I don't go through them that fast. so. You know, if it's just you and the hubby or you and the boyfriend or just you and you just want to have some nice napkins, these are great. Dollar Tree carries them most of the time and I grab them, you know, when I need them. I also picked up this pack of 48 heavy duty forks. Um, so you get 48 and they're heavy duty and... So I grab these for 4th of July or any parties that come up this summer because there are always parties that come up this summer. I mean, there won't be a lot of people at them because of everything that's going on, but you know what? I'll be ready for when they do. Um, I also picked up these uh, super heavy duty full size spoons. Now these are full size. Let me show you compared to the forks. See, they're a, they're a full-size spoon. 
So I bought these. I had these in my cart. And I was like, ooh, the heavy duty forks. So I got those. And then I went around the corner and saw the full size heavy duty forks and spoons. So I got these as well. There are 21 forks and 21 spoons. And I don't need knives because you guys, you know, when you buy the packet of the forks, the knives, and the spoons, you always have knives left. I have a gallon size Ziploc bag full of knives, plastic knives. Because people use the forks, they use the spoons, they very rarely use a knife at a, at a party, at a cookout. You very rarely use the knife. You might use it to put mayonnaise on or something, but a lot of people don't use them. So like I said, I got a huge Ziploc bag full of knives, so I won't need to buy them for a long time. Uh, another household thing I picked up was I picked up this Downy Unstoppables. Now, um, I was watching another YouTuber's, uh, video and this came up as an ad on her channel and I was like, Hey, I got that at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Now this says it's 12 weeks of laundry freshness from wash until wear and it, it's very strong smelling. You can smell it without even putting it right up to you. It says, um, toss into the water before the clothes. Enjoy the lasting fresh scent. So, 12 weeks of fresh laundry. It doesn't say, oh, this is one dose. So, I guess you only get, let's open it up and see how much you get in here. Oh, you know what? I don't think there's like a little baggie in there. It's just one. I'm going to try it for a dollar. And then go to the grocery store and see how much they want for it. But I picked this up. Downy Unstoppables. Whew, gosh, that's strong. Not that it smells bad, but it's strong. You know how when you go to the store and you buy dryer sheets? I always put those in a separate plastic bag because they are so strong. Even when I'm working and I'm checking out and people buy dryer sheets, I'm like, whoa. And it stays with you. That stuff stays, like, up in your nose and stuff. Anyway, um, I found some more candle holders. These, I thought, were absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. This is like a seafoam green. I don't know how the color is coming out. And then it also comes in white. And it comes in blue. I just thought this design on these candle holders were amazing. Look at how pretty they are. They're like a frosted glass. And they're just absolutely adorable. I love them. I love them very much. So let's see. See that up close? So pretty. And those have been in my store for a couple of weeks now, so hopefully they'll be there for you. Um, and as far as candles go, I finally found, I people have been hauling these, I finally found the pre three pieces um, candle set. They are filled glass candles. And this one is a birthday one. It says time for cake on it if I can get this open without wrecking it because it'd probably be a gift. All right. This one says, have fun. And I don't see that it has any kind of scent or that it tells what scent it is. It doesn't smell like anything, I don't think. Have fun. The next one is, yay. Yay. And that's a green one. They're very small. Does it say on the package how, how many they are? And this one says, happy birthday. They'd be a cute little gift, little add-on gift. Let's see what it says. Uh, see bottom panel, safety instructions. I don't need safety instructions. Uh, net weight per pack is 2.65 ounces. So all together, all three of them, are not even three ounces. Whoops, I'm trying to show you them all together. I'm not going to try to do this with all of them because there's three different sets. But those are them. And they're 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 little. 
The little baby candles. Very cute. Very, very cute. I was happy to find them. I kind of had given up on those. Thinking, all right, I didn't find those. Next. Because I, you know, I look and look for a while. And then I just kind of put it on my list and move on to the next fun thing that I see. Um, I also got this one that is the congratulations. And these ones say, sorry, I'm trying not to take up too much time with this. These ones say Ms. And it's a pink candle. Ooh, the top's not on, even on that one good. Oh, and it doesn't even go on good. It just keeps turning and turning. Okay. Um, this one is Mrs. And this one says two. So it says Ms. to Mrs. And that's what these three look like. Very cute. Another nice little gift. You can throw it into a, a wedding gift or a shower gift. Cute little add-on gift. Or you could just keep them for yourself and burn them for yourself. They're, they make a nice, um, like a bathroom candle. Someplace small. Uh, like I said, I didn't smell any scent in the first one. So, you know, I don't know. Uh, I usually like a scented candle. but And this one is Congratulations. And these ones say... Da, 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 da. Congrats. And you got your little peach color candle. Let's see if this one smells. Nah, I don't smell anything. I do not smell a thing. So, this one says congrats. And then you got a blue one that says woohoo. And then this one says, this is like a dark, looks like black almost. This one says Great job. So these are really cool. I like them. They're cute. They're cutesy cutesy. So stinking cute. As I say. Um, yeah, so they were fun. I was glad to find them. I figured I'd pick up all three sets just so I could show you guys. And not just because I could show you guys. I mean, I, I think they'll make cute little gifts. Or I might keep them for myself. I don't know. Kevin decided. All right. I'm a little nutsy today. It was a strange day and a long day. So if I'm not my usual self, please excuse me. Um, I did find another... Oh, wait. Here's one more candle that I found. This is a coconut mango. This is Old Williamsburg. Let's take a whiff of this one. That smells nice. I smell the mango more than I smell the coconut, but that's okay. I like coconut, but that... Yeah, that smells pretty good. Fruity. Fruity, fruity. Maybe maybe the um, coconut will come out when it burns. But anyway, I picked this up, and it's um, probably three ounces. That's what these normally are. Yeah, this is a three-ounce candle. Bigger than the other ones that I just showed you. Actually, let me just quick show you something so you can compare. Like I'm telling you how small these are. Let me show you in comparison to this regular Dollar Tree candle. This is the candle from the box. And this is the regular Dollar Tree candle. So, you, you know, it's a much smaller candle. But anyway, just so you guys know how big they are. Um, I'm going to try to just move along the, the table here, except that as long as I'm doing smelly stuff, I'm going to, right, sorry, I'm trying to get this back box back together. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, I did find these two sure scents, um, little, you know, uh, what are these called? Solid deodorizers, air freshening solid gel. I got this one in the amber wood. It is 25% more. And I got this one that's Hawaiian. 
Now, I've never tried this before, but I've heard people say that they put these in their car rather than um, the little car deodorizers. I think that might be really strong in your car, but I don't know. It says keep out of reach of children, for one thing. But I'm going to give these a, a whiff and see what they smell like, and uh, hopefully I like them. But you get 25% more, and I like the new little like slanted container. It, and it's flat, more flat on the bottom than some of the other ones. They do have a, you know, a hole on the bottom. But I, I liked the uh, shape, and I think I'm going to like the smells. So I grabbed those. All right, let me just put some of these things in here. All right, next thing, I found a new magnet, and it made me laugh, okay? It made me laugh. It's a ceramic um, magnet. I'm going to show you the back, and now I'm going to show you the front. You ready for this? I like big bunts and I cannot lie. It just made me laugh. I just started singing that song in my head and I was like, what? <laughs> so I got that really cute. I like big bunts and I cannot lie. Anyway, it cracked me up. I thought it was funny. So that's going on my fridge. Um, I also found some kitchen towels, some new kitchen towels. Now, I don't usually buy kitchen towels at the Dollar Tree because they're that, I don't know what they're made of, but I don't like it. I don't like it. But they have these like new um, tea towels. They're cotton. Yeah, and this one says, my kitchen, my rules. And you can see how cottony they are. They got that you know, they're not like those normal Dollar Tree towels. They only have the thing on the the front. I mean, it's all the way around, but it's only on the front. And I got My Kitchen, My Rules. Yes, ma'am, it is. My Kitchen, My Rules. I got Don't Flip Out with the little spatula on there. And I got Just Beat It. Beat it. I can't sing. But I thought they were really cute. And does it say how big they are? 70% cotton. So they're, and they are 15 by 25 inches. I just thought they were a really nice towel. So I picked up those three. Um, I've been trying to avoid the socks. You guys know how I am with the socks. But I was went down the sock aisle just to take a peek, see what was out there. And I found shoe size 10 to 13 socks. These are Universal, not the regular Dollar Tree brand, socks. And they fit size 10 to 13. I have a size 10 foot. And these are like cushiony on the bottom. The bottom is very cushiony. And I got them in this color. Just get one pair. I got the orange. I got one of every color. I got the black. All of a sudden I'm into black socks or dark socks. And I got the purple and the gray. So if you have a larger foot, these socks are out there, universal women's socks, shoe size 4 to 10, and then it says shoe size 10 to 13. Fits two sizes, so apparently they will fit you even if you have small feet, so didn't realize that. Bam. Um, next thing I found was I found this little cosmetic bag. Cats with glasses, so stinking cute, had to have it. You guys remember uh, the notebooks that were just out and the um, the wooden thing with, uh, is he on here? Yeah, this little guy, the wooden guy here. Yeah, I love it. Nothing better than cats with glasses. And it looks like this on the inside. It opens up all the way down so you can open it all the way. Really very nice. I love it, love it, love it. And I didn't see any others that went with this, but there might have been. This was kind of like a lone wolf just sitting on the shelf, and I was like, oh, what is that? 
and it says round cosmetic bag is what it says but can you stand it can you stand cats with glasses because i just can't i just love them um next thing i found i was in the um seasonal aisle and i came across this what the aloha sign with flamingos i was like yes ma'am thank you i will take that where is my ruler and this is a big sign this is uh whoa this is uh 13 and a half inches 13 and a half inches from tip to end whoops get out of there absolutely love it and look at the glitter on the aloha this will be great at my flamingo party i think i'm planning to have it in august that's tentative plan right now august so stay tuned if you want to see my uh my flamingo party in its craziness um i picked up two more of the crafter square um adhesive cork sheets I may throw uh, one of these in the giveaway. I don't know if people um, have these or they're hard to find. I don't know, but I think they could be really, um, you could do a lot with these. And these are 11.75 inches by 7.75 inches and they have adhesive back. You know, it's like a big, take it off and you got a big sticky of cork. So I have that. I also found a couple of books. I found that sugar book. And this book, um, it's the essential companion to the feature documentary that will change the way you think about healthy food. And uh, it tells you all different things. Understanding insulin, all about sugar, and uh, I think it's going to be a really interesting read because I think we don't realize how much sugar is actually in our diet. So I got that. Um, it is by Damon Gamo and international bestseller. And it sold for $23.99 in the U.S. So grab that. That was a good little find. And I was able to find two more Harry Potter Art of Edge books. Um, I want to make sure that I still have one. And uh, the any extras I have is, are either going to go in a giveaway or to friend mail. Um, I have a few friends that are looking for this. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, if you haven't seen these before, they're by Crayola Art of Edge. And there's... Um, a couple of different series. There's Harry Potter. There's Batman. I believe there's Wonder Woman. Um, there's one with, I don't know, but there's probably five or six of them. And these go for like 10 bucks, I think, is what I heard. It doesn't say on the back, but it's a coloring book and it's wrapped in plastic. And these are the pictures that you would color. I don't know if you want to zoom in on that or screenshot it or whatever. But if you have a son or daughter that's into Harry Potter, get yourself out to the Dollar Tree. Oh my goodness, we're at 23 minutes already and I barely got anywhere. All right, next thing I got was this flashlight. I have a flashlight that um, is like 100 years old and I saw this little flashlight and I said, you know what, I'm going to try this flashlight. It's LED and... You guys, I opened it. I put batteries in it so I could show you guys. All right, this thing is, I don't want you getting any, um, getting mistaken that this is a huge flashlight. It is five and a half inches. It's only a five and a half inch um, flashlight. But I was interested. I wanted to show you how these batteries went in. It takes three AAA batteries. And I was like, I opened it up and I was like, wait, what? But this thing pulls out and they go in like this little thingamajiggy. Hum, bobber. I was like, wow, that's really cool. So anyway, you put that in. 
you screw the top back on do, 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 and then you have this push button and there is your light woo blind you for a minute but see how bright this is very very bright and it's LED so it has that like blue tone to it and it really works well I think for a dollar this would be a nice little thing to keep in your glove box or in the console of your car if you ever were to break down or whatever. I think I'm going to get another one to have, you know, to take this on a maybe camping trip, put it in your backpack, or there's a, a lot of things you can do with this. And it's only a dollar. Costs you a dollar and three batteries, which if you buy the Sunbeam bonus eight pack batteries, costs you less than two bucks. So I got that. Get rid of that box. Um, I found some more of the chalkboard tags. I like this design. I picked these up. Um, these are by Crafter Square. And uh, it is a set of four with juke cords. So I grab that. I'm always looking in the crafting section to see if there's anything new. Sometimes I buy things multiple times. Sometimes I find new things. I picked up these wooden clothespins. Now, they have two different sizes of clothespins. This one is the little bit bigger one. Not a regular clothespin size, but they're a little bit bigger. And you get 24 of them. The teeny tiny ones, I think you get like 48. But I, I like these, the size of these. Does it say how? They're 1.9 inches. So they're really cute little. And I thought I would find something to do with these. I got to tell you guys, um, I've had a few subscribers um, that have asked me um, to maybe do a craft video. Um, I have all kinds of ideas stirring around in this head, but I really don't have to time to craft. I have ideas. I have the stuff. If I could get a few minutes to myself, I'd actually maybe be able to do something. I don't know. One of these days... But I don't know about doing crafting videos. That's not my that's not my deal. I like showing what you can get at the Dollar Tree because I get super excited when I go when I come out of the Dollar Tree and I got a bag full of stuff, I'm like, oh I can't wait to do a video. That's how I am. Um I picked up these large foil classroom decor. Um they're just little, it's in the teacher section, the teaching tree. There's 10 pieces of them. But they're just little, um, like, cards. And I thought I could use these for friend mail. Or, you know, just to throw a note in a package or something. You get ten of them. And look at them. Aren't they just adorable? And they're pretty good size. I don't, does it say on the package how big they are? It doesn't. But you know what? I'm like that, and I'm going to measure them for you. Just because. Just because. They're, uh seven and a quarter inches from cloud to cloud. But I just thought they were adorable. You could make a nice, or you could craft with them even. I don't know, frame it. There's, uh, you could do a million things. If you have a child that's into rainbows or you're into rainbows, you can do all kinds of things with these. I'm always checking the teaching tree section because you always find some really cool little doodads in the uh, teaching tree section. So I grabbed those. I don't know where to put this stuff. Um, I also bought another pack of these gem stickers. Love them. I, You know, I must have four or five. They're jewel border stickers. I might have four or five of these, but I know they're going to disappear, and then I won't ever find them again. So I just grabbed another one just because I love them. I think they're beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, these two things I picked up to put in a giveaway. Yes, ma'am. Because you know what? I have them already. And I was like, I searched for these for quite a while before I found them. And I was like, you know, maybe there are some people out there that are looking for them that can't find them either. So I got these perpetual calendars. This one says, time to shine on the bottom can see that but it's hard to see with the reflection and it's a perpetual calendar you change the month you change the days 
You can hang this on a, on a hook. It's got a jute cord on it. Or you could stand it on like one of those um, plate holders. And they're great just for, you know, as a calendar. So I got this one. And I got Shoot for the Stars. Shoot for the Stars. This is on this one. With the purple and the silver Shoot for the Stars. I thought they were both adorable. And these are going in a future giveaway. Um, speaking of giveaways, I got a bunch more cards since my last video. And uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to read off the names of all the people that I got cards from since the last time. And um, anybody that sends me friend mail is going to get, um, you know, if they send me a package, friend mail package or a letter or whatever, you, they're going to get an extra, an, extra, an extra name in the drawing. So um, even if you want to just send me another card, it, you can enter as many times as you want. I mean, I don't expect to get like 100 cards from somebody, but... Um, you know, there, you could get multiple entries into the drawings. Um, yeah. And I don't want to get a card with like five cards in it. I want individual entries, but some people sent me some friend mail that did not send me cards. Um, or, um, they emailed me and said they can't figure out what my address is or whatever. So I wrote them on a card and I'm just trying to be fair. Just trying to, I don't know. I just want to be nice to my subscribers. Anyway, moving on. I got some new washi tape. I got five new washi tapes, okay? I found this one. How pretty that is. Let's see if I can show it to the light. It's got a navy blue background, and it's got, like, um, leaves and... I don't know what that is on there. Some kind of cute little animal. Some little cutie, cutie little animal. I got that one. That was new to my store. And then it's really hard to find new washi. A lot of people get some really cute washi. My store is not so much. They got the same old ones. Then I found this one, which I thought was so stinking cute. It's just adorable. I'm trying to focus on this, but it's not helping. It's not helping, but it's got llamas and um, cactus. It's just so cute. And it's got like a yellow and white striped background. I just looked over and you know those um, solar ceramic animals? They are over there on my um, kitchen counter and they just started freaking out because it's starting to get dark. And it's been sunny all day, so their eyes are like, blink, 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 blink. Anyway, I also found this one with the sloths on it. I'm trying to get this to focus. Focus, 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 focus. It's got sloths. It's got pineapples. It's got um, planets. It's just really, really cute. Cute, cute, cute. That was new to me. Um, you know what? I don't know if I'm going to make all that. I'm trying to reduce my video times. I got this one. It's got the uh, whale and the lighthouse and the uh, stars. Got that one. And then I was able to find... Somebody sent this to me, and I found it in my store. I was, like, super excited. I was like, yes, Flamingo Washi. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So those were the new washies that I picked up. Pretty excited to find new washi. All right, let's get rid of this packaging. Next thing I picked up, I picked up another one of these blow-up thingamadoobies. This one is a unicorn, a white unicorn. Caroline makes me blow this thing up all the time. She comes over and she's like, blow this up, Grandma, blow this up, Grandma. So if you have a little girl, she'll love it. Um, you take the little um, straw here, you poke it way up into the animal, and you 
it blows up pretty easy once you get the straw in right. But, um, yeah, that's how it works. And it blows up big and fat like that. It says it inflates to 10 inches. And you it, it does eventually lose the air, so you have to keep re-blowing it up. But it does, you know, just keep re-inflating. You just can't lose that little um, straw. So I got that. Um, Caroline was with me on this particular haul and we picked up some purple felt because we're going to make Barbie blankets out of this. <laughs> We've been using tissues. Well, we, one day we were playing and I pulled a tissue out and pretended it was a, a towel because Barbie was getting out of the bathtub and we didn't have anything. So I grabbed a tissue. So now she's always using the tissues. I said, you know what, let's save myself some tissues and buy her a piece of felt and it'll actually feel like a little blanket or a little towel. So we decided on purple. So we got that. And this is 11.75 um, by 48 inches. So there's a, lot of, there's a lot of Barbie blanket in here. So I grabbed that, came in a bunch of different colors. Purple was the choice for Caroline. Oh, here's another pair of socks. Love these sloth socks. Women's five to nine, two pair. This is the regular Dollar Tree brand. Um, and it also comes with these striped socks. I love the background color on these sloths. And these are crew socks. So I probably won't be wearing these anytime soon because it's summertime. Summertime, summertime, some, some, summertime. Anyway, very cute to add to my sock collection. Um, I also picked up Evelyn, a little teething ring. Evie's got her first tooth. Her second one is trying to come through. The little cutie patootie. I'm going to have to bring her on one of these times to show you guys my little baby girl. And this is for 0 to 18 months, and it's a little pink bear. A little pink bear for Evie. And they're BPA-free. Baby King brand. They have some really nice things at the Dollar Tree for babies. If, you're, if you get invited to a baby shower or something, I'm telling you, hit the Dollar Tree before you go anywhere. Look at this bib. Look at this bib I got her. It's a perfect day. And it's got the little pocket here. So if she slobbers something down the front of her, it goes here instead of on her clothes. Her mom said that she liked these kind of bibs on her. So I got her another one. Um, I think the other one I got her has a princess on it or something. And this is by Baby Lounge. And it's plastic. And it's got the... Um, Velcro to put it on them. I just thought it was so cute. So stinking cute. Look at the, she's got a little bow in her hair. I can't, I can't even. Too cute. Oh, I don't want to put her stuff in there because I'll show, never end up getting it. I got, these were so cute too. I just loved them. Look at these flip flops I found for Caroline. Can you stand how cute they are? They're polka dots with little like thong um, flip-flop there and the strap opens up like this to put them on. You just undo the little plastic and you put their little foot in there and then you put it back in here and just put the little nubs here through the holes and it looks like that. I had, they had it in pink and they had it in purple and she already snagged the purple ones out of the bag before I could show you and she wore them home. So these are the pink ones and these are size seven to eight. That's her size. Shoe size eight. My little girl's getting so big. I miss her terribly working all day for the last, well, this is the day six. I miss her terribly. Um, but I got those for little Miss Caroline. And here, I got a couple more things. And then there's like Caroline stuff. Um, I picked up this bag of stones. 
and I just thought that they were, you know what, I want to open them because I want to see exactly what they look like. They're in a little net, and they are 32 ounces of stone. So this is what they look like. They're little, let's see if I can show you. See how smooth they are? I Crash bang. Um, yeah, the, and you get a whole little bag of them. They're all different shapes and sizes, but I thought they would be really nice in my uh, little plant thing that I'm putting together. So, oh, yeah, that's nice. These are very, very nice. You get two pounds of stone for $1. And I'm sure they're much more expensive uh, in other places. This is what the tag looks like. And I really like them. Uh, the black just really caught my eye. So I grabbed those. A couple more crafting items. Um, we got some acrylic paint by Crafter Square, three ounces. I like the little tube. You open it up, you squeeze some out. You don't have to be, you know, dipping your uh, paintbrush into a whole paint bottle. I got the white. I got purple. I got black. Hold on, there's more to come. I got yellow. And I got red. I was trying to remember what colors I already had, so I need to write this down so I can remember the next time I go to get the blue or the green or whatever colors they have. But these are acrylic paint, three ounces. They're by Crafter Square. And uh, yeah, I thought that that was a really good deal. Greenbrier International, Chesapeake, Virginia, or Canada. Made in China. Okay. Well, anyway, I got all these paints to someday do some crafting or whatnot. Just to have, if I decide I want to paint something, I got them. Um, I also got Caroline some numbers, flashcards. Sesame Street. Sesame Street, guys. Brand name. I love Sesame Street. All the characters, the Count, Cookie Monster, Oscar. My son's middle name is Oscar. And this is what they look like. You get, you know, eight, and you get the eight little triangles, and you count it. And it's got, um, I don't know what that guy's name is. And then here's the Count. And he's got eight little bats on the back. And this guy, and they can count, learn counting, which is good. I love learning, learning things. Learning things make me happy for Miss Caroline. Numbers are everywhere. Find the numbers. Cute, cute, cute. So you get, oh, it says right on here, you get... Uh, 34 two-sided flashcards and two parent activity cards. So, again, these were in the teaching tree section. Like I said, I'm always looking there for new things for Caroline. Got to keep her learning. Learning, learning, learning. All right, let me try to quick go through the toys because maybe a lot of you don't care about toys. But I just want to show you quick. I bought Caroline this splash ring. This is one of the bigger ones. This one is 26.5 inches. You know what? I'm going to open it just quick, 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 quick if I can. Just to show you what it looks like. And, oh, it's purple. It's purple, purple, purple. And, and this is what it looks like. So it's a good size one. This will be fun. And then it's just plain yellow on the back. I like that. I like the print and everything. I mean, I, the print is on the front, but it doesn't know it doesn't do it any justice. This is like a really dark purple. Very nice. This will be fun to play with 
when she goes in the big girl pool. Not so much in her little baby pool, but when she gets to go to the big girl pool, that'll be fun. Maybe she'll let Grandma borrow it. <laughs> Nothing better than floating around in a pool on a hot day. Y'all know that, right? All right, then we got a 24-piece Minnie Mouse puzzle. Gonna love that. We always love Minnie Mouse. We got, let's see what else we got. I found another Stretch Armstrong. I found another Stretch Armstrong. Yes, I did. I only found one and I picked it up. Yes, I did. That's gonna go probably go out in friend mail. So I got that. And then I found the Hot Wheels blind bags. They come with a car and slime. And this is what it looks like on the back. I'll give a couple of these to Jordan and then the rest are gonna go in friend mail. I found one, two, three. Well, I only picked up three because I already have some of these elsewhere. And then here's something that I've been looking for for a really long time. I've been seeing tons of YouTubers get these, never came to my stores. If they did, they came and went before I got them. Um, I'm trying to think what store I got these in. I think it might have been, might have been the New Clifton Park. I found the Major League Baseball blind bags. What? Really? I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? The Major League? I was like panicking. I was like, and I bought them all. Sorry. Sorry, who's ever going there to look for them. I got all the ones they had that day that I was there. They are for ages six plus. They're series one. You get one mini figure. And they're kind of like a Lego type thing. And on the back, they have uh, Bryce Harper, Chris Bryant, Josh Donaldson, Clay. I don't know who any of these people are. No, nope, I don't know who a single one of these people are, but I don't follow baseball like I used to. But I got one, two, three, four, five. I found five of them and I snatched them all up. Yes, I did because I have been on the hunt for these for the longest time. Um, I'm going to give a couple to Jordan and I think I might send a couple in friend mail. Yes, 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 I might, because I like to share the wealth. Even though I grab a bunch of them, I like to share them. I also got, Caroline, another one of these wood painting things, a No Drama Llama. And it comes with a little string here and the hole, and you can hang these up. She loves her little painting. Only got three little colors, but it's so cute. Look at the little um, heart glasses very cute got those um i also got caroline some little swimmies and they have unicorns on them yes they do so she can go in the big pool with her swimmies one pair nine by six inches and i got these for miss caroline for the big pool whenever we go there um, I also found these uh, grow little thingamajiggies. They grow to 400 times their size. And they're like a little... The, God, the reflection is really bad. All right. Can I get closer? No. All right. Well, they're these like little fish tanks. And they got little fishies in there. And you put water in it and they grow. Um, it says... Just add water and um, remove stopper on top of, it's an aquarium. Ru remove stopper on top of aquarium and add cool water. Over the next few days, your creature will grow to 400% of its original size. So I picked up one for Caroline and one for Madeline in the pink. And I got Jordan, the green one. I think they're all the same thing inside but they just have different color tops. So I got the pink one for 
Caroline and Madeline, and I got the green one for Jordan. So I have to put these over with Jordan and Madeline's stuff. Because I don't see Jordan and Madeline as much as I'd like to. They are like 45 minutes away from me. So I really don't get to see them as much as I'd like to. Mwah. Um, so I found some more of the Minions. I found um, Stuart. I got Kevin. I got Otto. I got a set of these for Jordan, and I thought they were so cute. I thought Caroline might like them, so I got her three of them. I didn't get her all for her. And then I got uh, Kevin and Otto to send out in friend mail. So that's going to a package. Friend of mine is getting that. Then I found these wooden snakes. Aren't they adorable? Not adorable. They're snakes, but they're cool. Look. They do wiggly wobbly. They look like this. And they're made of wood. You could paint them or do whatever. Oh, he's upside down. Sorry. Sorry, sneaky. But I just thought he was so cool. You could paint him if you wanted to. You know, I, great. And I was looking for st stuff to send to um, my niece's boys. And so I got one for Tyler and one for Zachary. They are going to love those, I, I think, I think. And then I also got them the little salamander. Or what are they calling it? A wood animal. But I was calling it a salamander. Maybe a gecko because they have those down in Florida. Gecko. Any cute... I was like, what are these? And I have to have them. So I just thought they were really cool. So those are going to my niece's boys. Got all this stuff for different people. And then I found the bubblies. Now I'm not taking these out of the package because they're gifts. I hope I can show them to you without a ton of glitter. Glitter. Without a ton of glitter. Without a ton of you know, glare. This is like a kitty cat and it's purple. And these are those Orby things. Um, I looked these up on Amazon and they were, uh, I forgot what they were. Were they $19, $15? They were more than a dollar, believe me. So on Amazon, I saw them and I was like, what? So I got this one. I got a bunch of these. I don't think they're all in this haul because I'm going to send a couple of these to her boys as well. I might have put them in their box already. I got the owl. I love owls. And I got the frog. I got the frog for Jordan. And I think I got the cat for Madeline. And I think the owl is for... Caroline, whatever her name is. <laughs> the owl is for Caroline. I already got Caroline one the other day, which I let her have because she was being a good girl because we went to the Dollar Tree and she was behaving. So I let her pick one out. But I had gotten her this one previously. So great deal, you guys. This Bubblies, okay, by Orb. They say they're for eight years old plus, but, you know, I mean, if your child is... Um, mature enough to have it. I think it's okay. You know your kids, so that's all I'm saying. And they're, like I said, these are going for well over $10. And we get, we're getting them for a dollar. And they had a lot of them. I went to a couple different Dollar Trees and all of them had them. And mine in particular had a big old stack of them. Um, when was I there? yesterday or the day before I stopped into my store and uh, we had a whole bunch. A couple more items. Let me quick wrap this up. Oh my gosh. Um, I got this lemon and pepper bumblebee tuna. Um, Dollar Tree's been carrying this for a really long time. It comes with a spoon. Um, it's um, wild caught tuna 
and it gives you a little spoon. You can just tear the section off and eat your tuna. Um, new packaging. That's what's up with this. So I grabbed that. I picked up this beautiful box. It's like um, octagon. Octagon? No. Hexagon. It's six sides. Well, yeah. Hexagon. Wait. Yeah. Six sides. But I picked it up anyway. I just thought it was beautiful. I just thought it was so, so beautiful. And I got it in the big one. It came in like four sizes, I think. I got the big one and then I got the um, second smallest. So I got two sizes. And these, you when you keep them, you, they stack inside each other. So if you were going to buy the whole set, they all fit inside each other. If you loved it, which I do, I was going to buy them all. And I was like, I really don't need them all. I already spent like amount of dollars. So, um, all right, let me quick end this, guys. I got um, some mesh laundry bags. You get three in a pack for a dollar. I needed these for my delicates. My bags were getting a little ratty. Um, I picked up two packages of the Huggies wipes. Simply clean wipes. Fragrance free. And they're by Huggies. And you get 40. You get 40 uh, sheets in here. Got a new baby now. So I got to keep this stuff stocked up now. So I got two of those. I found a couple more items. I found more of the Nivea. I picked up three more cans. I actually just ran out of my uh, body wash today. So um, I'm gonna try one of these in the shower. Um, actually, these two are two different ones. I thought they were the same, but they're not. This one, or are they? Let me take a look. Oh yeah, they are the same. They're just different color. Just different color. Well, I got these. Oh, no, they're not. This one's white peach and orchid orchid blossom. And this one is uh, warm vanilla and jasmine blossom. So I'm going to put one of these in the shower tonight. And this one is vanilla and caramel scent. But these are 6.8 ounce and they're new and they're in the dollar store. Dollar Tree. I bought two of these um, cabinet uh, shelves. I plan to rearrange my kitchen cabinets because I was going through my cabinets and I was like, there's got to be a better way to store all this stuff in here because I don't have a ton of cabinet space. So I'm going to try to make the most of it by using those shelves. And they are... Nah, nah, nah. Not have a size. Uh, uh, well, you can check them out, guys. I, I can't find my ruler. It's buried here somewhere. All right, guys. Um, last thing I want to tell you guys is I got the names of the people that are being entered into the drawing. This is the round two people's names going in. First names and the city where you live. Cindy from Linden, Donna from Monument, Linda from Spring, Angie from Fremont, Eugenia from Lexington, Esther from the Bronx, Luetta from Gainesville, Linda from San Antonio, Madeline Vestavia Hills, Tracy Frederick is from Frederick, Angela from Albuquerque, Albuquerque, Sylvia from Waco, uh, I don't have a first name on this one, uh, cause I can't find the email that you sent me, but your last name is Gonzer from Woodward. If you could email me your first name, that'd be great. Nancy from Plant City, Renee from Scottsville, Brenda from Owing Mill, Owings Mills, Yvonne from Yorktown Heights, Kayla from Woodla Woodlawn, Missy from Altoona, Carla from Jacksonville, Janice from Houston, Tina from Ferndale, Peggy from Live Oak, uh, M. Dominguez from Plano, 
Diane from Hinsdale, Morgan from Okonomowoka. I have no idea how you pronounce that, Morgan. Okonomowoka. I have no idea. Not even, I bet that is very hard to say. O C O N O M O W O C. Tell me how you would pronounce that, guys. Marilyn from Waban. 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 Rebecca from Peoria. Layla from Toledo. Angela from Broadhead. Kim from Birmingham. Christopher from Archer. And Maria Elena from Miami. You are all entered into my drawing. Um. I am going to try to shorten my videos because I have a feeling that I'm losing some of my subscribers um, by videos that are too long. So I'm going to try to not go over. Look at I'm in an hour. Who's hanging around watching my mug for an hour? All right, you guys, I'm wrapping it up, putting these cards into the drawing. My next video, I'm going to be drawing names for the cutting mats. Um, so I will see you in my next video. I hope you all have an awesome day or evening or whatever time you're watching me. You uh, stay safe and uh, I love you guys. Bye now.